Hello and welcome to the new Power Query tutorial video and in this video I want to show you something interesting around this function fill. Fill is very helpful for filling up the blank or the null cells right. So whether it is a text or whether it is a number if the requirement is that you want to fill it based on the value above or value down then you can do that. You may have if you are coming from excel background you may have seen this as part of the pivot table functionality. So I would want to show you if you are a beginner I want to show you how this functionality is working with the help of a sample. So for that I will bring the data. Before that just quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel then you should know about this google sheet for which the link is present in description. In this sheet you will find the video title very easily you can come and search by pressing ctrl f as to uh, what video you want to look at it. Search that video using the link which is present in column B you can jump on to that video. Now also I am keeping the difficulty level over here as well along with topic category so that you can easily search or categorize your learning based on uh, what you need to learn. So this is to help you and support uh, your learning needs. With that let me go back to the power query and let me bring one data set which is nothing but the superstore sales. In the superstore sales what do I have one sheet which I created uh, that is specific to this example and having all some null values um, if it ever comes. So let me just wait for a couple of seconds to, to all right it's taking really longer than expected so this is the sheet where you have the column one two three which is nothing but category subcategory product name you have the number of years the quantity which got sold so you click ok and let me come to the power query and then this data set once it is in there the first thing first is using first row as headers right and then if you see lot of nulls the nulls are present well because maybe this particular product was not in 2018 or 2017 right that is a reason but let's say in your scenario you know that hey these values are always based on this last value right and uh, this needs to be filled up or alternatively these values is based on the whatever is the latest value which is present in the last row. So that can be something very helpful using the fill function fill up down up or down right. So what is down down means it basically sees the 7 in this case and fill the 7 over here. So if I do that if you see fill down it's doing nothing but 7 7. So wherever it found the null it looked at the first value and then fill it up. So let me undo this and alternatively or opposite of that is up that means it will look at 11 and fill up 11 over here. So if we do up see so this is a recursive operation what we say uh, in terms of uh, how do you want to fill the values and this is especially useful in those scenarios where your data is incomplete because there are blanks but you know that these blanks are based on either the value in the previous row or in the last row as it is appearing. So that is something a very helpful functionality that you should know about uh, using this data set. So with that thank you so much and uh, I will meet you in the next video with a new topic.